Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just have a little food for thought for you for this morning, for this day. Here in America, it is November the 5th, and it's 8.16 a.m. And I've been singing songs like, Oh, Holy Night, and uh, Oh, Come All Ye Faithful. Why would that be so early? Because it's not. I, in my honest opinion, believe our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was born during tabernacles, if not the first day, which is the sixth. Now, when you write 11 slash 6 on a piece of paper saying November 6th, turn it upside down and what do you get? 9-11. I sat under a pastor for five or six years and I thought was really a great 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 teacher and he said he believed our Lord's birthday was 9-11 because Satan loved to mess his birthday up by making all kind of tragedies happen on 9-11 well Satan loves to turn everything upside down and backwards if you watched any of Jonathan Cleck which I used to but no longer do because I question his source I'm not going to say the man gets everything from the devil I am not <laughs> I'm not running that risk of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit but because a lot of people say no he's getting his stuff from the Lord but the reason I do not recommend him is only because when I, the last time I watched him it was the end of a video and his videographer was had they had a big camera not some little something this crystal skull lit up on his desk Jonathan's desk Jonathan was like sitting beyond it and this guy I think his name was Tony but I'm not sure it's been a few years several years and he said oh look Jonathan here comes another one or another one's coming in something to that effect the crystal skull was lighting up blue like some kind of communication was coming through now God doesn't talk to us like that I'm just telling you I'm reporting the truth of what I saw I think that was live I'm, they probably cut that out and I couldn't tell you when it was and I'm not lying so, you know, he taught us a lot, Jonathan Cleck did, about the paper money. When you fold the paper money a certain way and you look at it, you see a tsunami coming over Manhattan. They printed it into the money. There's another denomination of money that when you fold it just right and look at it, you see the Hoover Dam breaking and flooding the country on that end. On, uh, where the Hoover Dam is so there is pro not prophecy but uh, Satan telling us what he's going to do on the money we got that or I did from Jonathan Cleck and I knew nobody else who knew that until then until after they may have gotten it from the Lord they may have gotten it from Jonathan I don't know but I only saw a few people after that talk about folding the money a certain way so he has brought a lot of stuff to light and I can't explain why there was a crystal skull lighting up blue on his desk but it's it was it gave me pause to not watch him anymore plus he was into this other theology that I just didn't agree with having said all that <laughs> He uh, taught about how Satan loves turning everything upside down or backwards. And he would show that sheep head. It was the Blessed Virgin Mary, as the Catholics like to call her, Blessed Virgin Mary. It was a statue that had been done for Catholicism, or maybe it was a painting. But when you turn it upside down, you see a sheep's head with the tongue sticking out and there's some symbol symbolism into that 
That's why I'm going on and on about saying November the 6th could be September 11th to Satan. Do you see? And another reason I believe Jesus was born during tabernacles is because the word of God tells us he was laid in a manger. That the, an the angels went to the shepherds and said, you will find him lying in a manger, not a stable, not a barn. It was a temporary shelter where if you will look up what the Jewish people do for tabernacles, those who celebrate it correctly will make a temporary shelter. They may use some wooden sticks. Nowadays, they probably look more like the, the picture I'm going to use for a thumbprint. And they would put a manger in it and lay their bread and other things they were going to eat. Because they sleep outside in those tents. They're called a tent or a tabernacle, Sukkot. Or temporary shelter so we know that Jesus was laid in a manger he is the bread of life people it makes so much sense to me I just firmly firmly believe it in my heart this is the week of tabernacles on the Creator's calendar it starts tomorrow November 6th which is is already that in some part of the world but at some point everybody will be within that 24 hour frame of november the 6th at some point in time coming up like it might be let's see if australia is 16 hours ahead it could be 4 in the morning. It would be 4 p.m., 5, 6, 7, 8 p.m. See, it could be 4 a.m. for us and 8 p.m. for our friends Susan in Australia. Still be November the 6th for all of us. There might be one place in the world where it'll be 12.01 the next day when it becomes 12.01. I'm not sure... I have to look into that, the time zones. How many time zones are there? And can everybody be on the same day at the same time? Okay, now I'm just, you know, hoping. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be with Jesus, right? So I'm hoping, y'all. I'm just hoping. I'm just wanting to make this to tell you. I am saying happy birthday, Jesus. And come, let us celebrate with you. All right. I'm ending it here. Hopefully this one will go up and save and everything will be fine. All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say until next time, if I don't see you in person, I'll see you back here again later.